Hey basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and Basketball Coach Alan here on YouTube. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is how you can build your own basketball workout plan. But first, really quickly, if you want to have custom workouts made specifically for you, go check out the link in the description below called Custom Basketball Workout Plans and definitely go check that out because it's fantastic. But f anyways, let's get down and let's talk about what makes a great workout plan. Number one is you should not work out every day. The reason why you do not want to work out every day is because of your muscles. Your muscles will basically eat away at themselves. Basically what happens if you were to work out the same muscle groups every single day, think of these fingers as your muscle fibers. Now when you work out, they, they get torn and when they heal, that's when they get bigger and stronger. The reason is, is when a muscle gets worked out, they tear just a bit. And the reason why they tear is obviously because you're working them pretty hard. And they don't want to be torn. Muscles hate being torn. So they recover over roughly a 24 to 48 hour period. When those muscles heal, they've got... Uh, scar tissue and other things in there healing within that 24 to 48 hour period. Now, if you work out again during that time, you're not allowing them to heal properly and they're just going to get torn again and they're not healing themselves. So if you work out another day in a row, torn again and not healing. And if that cycle keeps on going, you're not actually improving your strength. You're making it the total same. You're not making any difference because your muscles are not healing. They're just basically healing a bit and then tearing again and they're not getting the proper healing and because of that you're not going to have any improvements in it at all and it could even really have the 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 stuff that's trying to heal the muscle start eating away at the muscle and that's what you really do not want to happen. So Definitely, if you're going to want to work out every single day, just don't do the same muscle groups every single day. I've been there. When I was in high school, grade 12, I worked out every single day. And basically how I did it was upper body one day, lower body the next. And then I would do the core on the third day. That is the three muscle groups, essentially. I like to call it muscle groups that I like to focus on, upper body being your chest, your back, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, and then your core, being your lower back, your abs, and then the other muscle area is your legs. That can be your hips, your quads, your calves, your ankles. All of that is you can be working out in one day. Now, personally, this is how I like to work. have a workout. I like to have two workouts per week. And this is how I like to have my, my players train. We'll do three days of working out per week with two different programs. One being a insane hard workout and then two being challenging but not crazy. The crazy one goes on Wednesday and then the hard one but not like the hard the two days that are hard but not like crazy hard but just challenging enough can be a monday and a friday or a monday and a saturday whatever it works out to be best for you and that's how i like to have it worked out that way and the reason why i like to have that happen is because in between the week we're still going to be working on basketball skills so I like to have that one insane workout in the middle of the week, challenging workouts on, on days that are not consecutive, and then basketball skills throughout the week because that's going to help you improve as a basketball player. So if you're still with me, I want you to get a piece of paper and write out something really quick. And that is to go and write out legs, upper for upper body and then core 
Now, for your workouts, for the two that are challenging but not insanely hard, I want you to write out five exercises for legs. I want you to write out five up exercises for your upper body and five exercises for your core. Now, of course, the custom training plans that I give you and the vertical jump training that I have available on my website, obviously you have to pay for it, but definitely go check it out. It's going to be a lot more in depth than this. However, this is a great starting point if you have not worked out before. So for legs, you could say something like squats. If you don't know what squats are, definitely go check out my other videos on this channel. You could do lunges. You could do squat jumps. And then for the fifth or for the fourth exercise, we could do something like uh, walking on toes. And then for the fifth exercise, we could do something like uh, let's say toe hops and all of these exercises that I just said here are on my Instagram which is at Al's b-ball and you can go check it out as well but these are all in videos that I've posted throughout the last year for upper body if you have a gym available you could do bicep curls and that's going to help you with bigger biceps so that you could rip the ball from other players. Tricep extensions. If you don't know what any of these are, don't worry about it. Go search it up on Google or on YouTube or try to find my other videos about this. Another exercise you could do is bench press. And both of these work out the triceps, which can help you get a shot that can basically help you shoot further, stronger shots, more accurate shots. For the fourth exercise, you could say wrist curls. If you don't know what wrist curls are, I really like to have my players do those. I actually have not mentioned them. Actually, I've mentioned them in one video roughly this time last year. And that helps you with dribbling the basketball faster and harder, but also help you shoot the basketball further, which is fantastic. And then another upper body uh, exercise could be chin-ups. And these are all simple that you could actually do at a gym fairly reasonably. And then for core, you could do something like let's say planks back extensions if you don't know what any of these are definitely go check out my other videos once again or check out Al's b-ball I have some short videos there another core workout could be sit-ups but I personally I'm not a huge fan of sit-ups but you could do uh, what I like to call is medicine ball curls, which is when you're on your butt only. So let's say, I'm going to draw a stick figure picture here. Let's say this is your butt along the ground. You're going to have your legs up, your feet dangling, not touching the ground. And then you're going to be holding a medicine ball and bouncing it from one side to the other. This is a fantastic ab exercise as well. So you could do sit-ups. You could do the med ball, we'll call it med ball exercise. And then you can find a fifth exercise, which could be holding a plank and move different two pound weights from one hand to the other. So you'll be holding your plank and then rolling a medicine or rolling a dumbbell which is one of these things from side to side and this could be all one day you could do this all in one day and do it twice a week or three times a week and you will become a stronger basketball player 
And that's how you can build yourself a workout plan. Now, generally speaking, there's two words that you're going to be hearing a lot, reps and sets. Reps is how many times you consecutively do the same exercise, for example, and let's call this a weight. Actually, I've got some weights down here somewhere. Oh, they're too big. They're like 40 pound weights. So call this Apple Pencil a weight. This is one rep, two reps, three, four, five. And generally speaking, you want to do 10 to 15 reps. So if you're using weights, you want to have a comfortable weight that you can push yourself and challenge yourself, but be able to get between 10 and 15 reps. And then the set, the word sets is how many, how many sets of reps you're doing. So let's say you do just did 10 reps. You're going to have a 60 second break and do it 10 more times. 60 second break and 10 more times, that would be three sets. Each one of these, I want you to be between 10 and 15 reps to do three sets of each. I hope that these exercises help you. They're very basic exercises, but even though they're basic, you can really improve a ton if you were to do this two to three times a week. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Definitely go check out my custom basketball training plans in the description below, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.